Worship is what you're devoted to. Worship is what you think about all the time. Worship is what consumes your time and your money. That's worship. Just because you say Allah, 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 the Christian says the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, and maybe Joyce said Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. But in the meantime, you spend all your time and your money on the game, watching football, keeping up with the scores, worrying about the stock market, falling in love with the new cars that just came out, latest computers, latest technology, whatever it is that you're hung up on, that's what you're worshiping. Whatever it is that makes you late for Salah, that was what was more important to you than Allah. Whatever makes you not fast like the Prophet Sallallahu fasted Mondays and Thursdays, that's what you love more than Allah. Whatever takes you away from the remembrance of Allah is what you love more than Allah. Make sense? Yes or no? Oops. Yep. Because some people think, as long as I don't have a statue in my house, I don't have a picture of something in my house, I'm okay. I'm worshiping Allah. My question is, when? I said, well, I go for Juma, usually, sometimes, last year. He asked brother, did you pray Margaret? Sure I did. Uh, last week, as a matter of fact. Now, the other thing that happens is when you take people's opinion or you're more worried about how people's opinion is of you than Allah's opinion and what Allah thinks of you. Listen to what Rasul Sallam said. Whoever tries to please the people at the expense of displeasing, displeasing Allah then Allah is already displeased with them and He's going to make the people displeased anyway. You can't win. But whoever tries to please Allah, even at the expense of displeasing these people, Allah is pleased with them and He'll make the people pleased with Him too. Did you know that? Who do you worship? Do you worship Allah, or do you really worship something He created? Maybe we'll see somebody who said, Well, I believe in the Lord, but I also believe in my lucky charm. You seen people have a lucky charm, they carry it with them, or something on their wrist, or something on their neck, something in the pocket, like a rabbit's foot. Have you heard about a rabbit's foot? My lucky rabbit's foot. Now already I got a problem with that. You know what my problem with that is? Huh? I'm thinking right away, what about the rabbit? He's on crutches going, hey man, that wasn't lucky for me. Whatever you worship, other than the law, is what will take you to hell. It said it in the Bible. And it says it in the Quran. Chapter 4, on Nisa, verse 48. Clearly said, Allah does not forgive a shirk, making partners with him in worship. But anything less than this, he can forgive it. But that's no way, Jose, not going to forgive it. We as Muslims have come to believe, because we say, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah, that's sufficient. Christians have come to believe that they said Jesus is Son of God and that's sufficient for them. Both of these are wrong. You cannot just say a few magic words and then just do whatever you want to do. It doesn't work like that. The evidence is in what you do every day. 
How much time do you spend reading your Quran every day? How much time do you spend in Salah? How much time do you spend helping the needy and the poor and the orphan? Every day. And Rasul Sallallahu told us that we have 360 joints in our body and each one of them needs an act of sadaqa every day. But he did tell us removing an obstacle from the path of the believers is sadaqa. Alhamdulillah. He also told us that a smile in the face of your brother is sadaqa. Now let's see how many we got out here. I got about 360. Okay, ready? I'm good for the day now. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> and before you get too excited and think you've got a snappy way to get around all of this, don't forget about the people before us. When Allah ordered them not to fish on Saturday. So on Friday night, they put the nets in the water. And then the fish went into the nets all day Saturday. And on uh, Saturday night, they came and pulled the nets in. They said, we didn't fish, the net did it. Sneaky way to get around. Yeah? What did Allah do to them? What did Allah do to them? And what will He do to us? Is the Quran in the Talib? Oh, okay.